There's a span of the Bay Bridge in Oakland. It's been replaced. That costs six billion. The old section cannot be demolished, however. Why is that? Because a flock of double-crusted cormorants won't move. Removing the 800 or so birds will cost $33 million, $40,000 per bird to move them. Come on in, James Lacey. He's the author of Taxophonia. James, this is the height of ridicule. I mean, how can you possibly yeah, well, stay in California with this kind of nonsense? Well, now, come on, I'm a native Californian, and I was born in Oakland near this bridge. I'm never going to leave. I'm never going to give up. A a Angela Merkel didn't give up on East Germany, did she? And she became chancellor. <laughs> Look, this is a situation where the state of California is giving the taxpayers the bird once again. The span of the Oakland-San Francisco Bay Bridge that is standing there, that is occupied by these birds, is a 78-year-old rickety bridge that exists still because of the slow response of state government and the federal government to be able to fix this bridge that had a seismic event 25 years ago. In the process, they've gone $5 billion over in trying to fix the bridge. They finally opened it up a year ago, but it's full of flaws. It's full of bad welds. It's full of broken rods. It's full of rusting steel. $5 billion overrun. And the problem is, is that after 25 years of finally getting this thing going, they can't demolish the old portion of the bridge because of environmental regulations yeah. that have allowed these birds to take over. $33 million to get rid of those birds, that's $40,000 of birds. Let me mention something, Stuart. In nearby Oakland, 30% of the children in the city of Oakland live in poverty. They live in families that make $23,000 annually or less. Well, how can we have a rational situation in California where we're going to propose to spend $40,000 to remove a bird when we've got all of these children and all of these people living in poverty? And you know what it, why? It's because of the high tax policies of the state. Here's my view. Wait, on no, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. You, you've, got to, no, you, you've got to explain this because this is, to me, inexplicable. You've got to tell me yeah. what percentage of the California electorate, electorate actually wants to spend $40,000 on a bird to move the thing. I mean, what percentage? It, this is it, the, it can't be the, more than 5%, surely. No, this is the dichotomy in California. In California, people are unhappy with their government. You've been talking about, does money give you love or does money give you happiness? Well, in California... We have very unhappy taxpayers. They don't like their government, but they continue to vote in politicians that raise their taxes. Yes. The result has been a terrible economic environment. And I think that this bridge that is a testament to the malfunction of government in California, and in my view, you know what the result should be? They should let the birds take over the bridge. Just leave it. We've got a Statue yes. of Liberty All right. in on, New James. York Harbor. It, Why not just leave this rickety 78-year-old bridge for the birds to take over? Okay, be, okay. It would be like a monument to the um, it, look, wait, ridiculousness wait a second, wait a second. of, Cal if, if of government California in California. If Californians are so unhappy, how come they re-elected Jerry Brown to be the governor of that state and he beat his Republican challenger, Neil Kashkari, by nearly 20 points? You've got 20 seconds to explain that one. Well, he really clobbered him, and the answer to the question is, is that the political system is overwhelmed with public employee uh, union spending. Uh, Brown had a $25 million advantage in his race, and he was so confident of victory that he took a $100,000 contribution from Philip Morris and wasn't criticized. Now, what politician could take $100,000 from the tobacco industry today and get away with it? Jerry Brown did. That's, ca that's wacky California. Yes, it is. James Lacey, you're our guy on California, and we appreciate you being with us again today. Thank you, James.